Hello there! How are you doing, everyone? My name is Phil Kramer, and I am uh, fiddleandphilkramer.com and Phil Kramer Musician here on YouTube. I'm thinking about changing that, by the way. I think I might be going <laughs> to Fiddle and Phil Kramer here on YouTube. I haven't made it for sure yet, but thinking on it. Let me know what you guys think about in the uh, comments. Anyways, I'm making a video today to play another original of mine, and also to kind of conclude the first week of uh, making videos every day. It was a good experiment. I learned a lot about little different ways of doing video production, things that worked, things that really didn't work, <laughs> and just kind of experimenting from there. I'm really excited to see where all this, this goes. I do not think I'm going to keep doing videos every day um, because I can only guarantee a certain amount of time each day that I'm able to dedicate to them. And I'd much rather have some higher quality videos every other day, every couple of days, versus um, ones that I would like to have a little bit more polished every day. But I concluded the thing, and I'm happy with it. Um, so that's where we're thinking on that. And one of the other things that I might try to start doing here is one of the comments that I read a couple of days ago is asking for a little bit more of a tour of some of my instruments and the different things. I'm not going to do all of them today. I still want to add a little bit of a tune here at the end of the video. But one of them I do want to show off is the instrument you're going to hear today. And this is my five string banjo from Vega. This is a banjo that I inherited from my dad. Um, and he, his parents bought it for him when he was just starting to teach um, in the public schools. So he was a clarinetist, but he really wanted to play the banjo and they bought it for him to kind of celebrate him starting to teach uh, public music. And so he's a music teacher as well and really great guy. Um, so this is a, a banjo from the 80s made by a company called Vega. They're now owned by a company called Deering, who also makes some really great banjos. This one's kind of a good medium to uh, intermediate banjo. I really enjoy it. I would love to have a great, great banjo someday, but right now it's kind of fulfilling everything that I need. Um, it has this big, beautiful pot, you know, Remo head on it, and it has a couple of little accessories on it that makes it a really great um, instrument and a really useful tool. One is a page capo. This is a capo that will last you forever. Uh, you can get them for like 20, 30 bucks on um, Amazon and places. I really like this uh, tuner because it has a screw right here in the back that I can loosen up and I can move it all the way up and down the fingerboard, um, up to the fifth string that is. And when I'm done, I can just put this, unscrew it, put this guy over the nut here, screw it back on, and this is where it lives. I never have to go search in for my bag or go do those things, and that is right there. The second thing that I uh, we did to kind of hot ride this instrument a little bit is putting on what's called a Shub um, fifth string tuner. And so a lot of banjos that you'll see will have these little spikes here in the fingerboard, the railroad spikes, and they're really good. Uh, this one's just a little bit finicky and they were always popping off and they're in impossible to get back on. So what we just did is we screwed on this um, Shub uh, capo on here. And what that can do is it allows um, me to just kind of slide this capo around to where I need it, screw it down, similar idea with the page. I love it. Um, two, I have what's called a Whitman uh, tuner that's put in right here. It runs off a nine volt battery that I really like. And I can just flip on and off and tune straight off of the banjo. Last couple of videos in live streams, I haven't had a nine volt battery um, to do. So I've had to tune off my um, cell phone and it just reminds me of just how much I hate doing that. I'd much rather have an onboard uh, tuner that's ready to go. And so I love that guy. And then three, um, this is a little bit, this is called a um, dual shoulder slider um, strap system. And so what it is, as you can see, is just this uh, black strap that goes underneath the little um, guys here. And what it can do is it goes around the back and I can clip it in very much like backpack or car sh uh, car seats and all that kind of stuff and that just allows this to sit here and I'm able to put the weight over both of my shoulders and it's such a great system um, I honestly uh, I would not use a guitar strap on these guys and so um, unfortunately I haven't found many that use this kind of system anymore had that being said 
Uh, dual strap does make um, guitar strap systems that would can connect to like a strander, standard button that you'd see on a guitar. And there are some clips that you can do that will do this a similar thing. So I'll list all of these kind of things in the description down below of what I suggest is a good starting banjo system. And that's where I would go, um, starting with that. And so thank you for listening to me talk all this time. Thank you for listening to the videos this whole week. I really appreciated it. I'm excited to see where else this, this can go and what else we can do. And so um, I'm excited. Thank you for tuning in this week, and I'll keep that momentum going. And the next thing um, I'm going to play is a banjo tune I wrote right at the beginning of quarantine when I was feeling Ugh, scary and... Um, I have yet to have a good name for it yet, so please put, if you have a good name suggestion, suggestion please put it in the um, comments below, and I'm going to read them and take a look and see what we got. But thank you so much. I hope you have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.